Chris Hartman is headed where few people have ever been, in this, a one-man submarine. You're a pilot. Yes. So you are getting in here. Correct. And going way down deep. Yes. Does it ever freak you out? N no, uh, I was trained very well. Hartman works for a company called Deep Marine Technology, and he's going to the Pacific Island nation of Palau on a pretty important mission. To go down and collect samples that could possibly have cancer fighting or even AIDS fighting properties in them. That's right. They're looking for sea life like sponges, invertebrates, and coral that might hold the cure for cancer. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So hopefully to better mankind is, you know, the ultimate goal. Hartman's team will be there a year, gathering samples with these two subs. A lot of people, when they hear submersibles or submarines, or those types of definitions, I don't know what goes through their mind, but it's generally not this. And what this is, is a one person, or we call it one man, submersible. They are completely independent and tetherless, which is another key component. There is no tether going to the top. So they can go wherever they want in the ocean. And it's tricked out with all the tools. This is the brains of the submersible. The hull structure is steel. These are the propellers called thrusters. Breathable air, if there should be a cabin emergency. This little cone is a transducer. This is how we communicate to the top side. One of the most important features, the arms, which can move in any direction. Okay, we are opening, and we are closing. We're gonna have a little rotation of the jaw there. Why would you need it to be rotating like that? Uh, you don't necessarily need the speed unless you've got a tool on the end that needs it. So you could put a screwdriver on the end of sure. that. Sure. Lots of things to worry about, but certainly worth the effort. I mean, if we can find a cure for specific cancer, uh -huh. terrific. Find a cure for AIDS, even better. One of the two, I, <laughs> would, be, would probably all be ecstatic. Yeah. Uh, both of them would be enormous. Well, it's, so. it's nice probably waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to try and cure cancer today. Yeah. You know? Yeah.